What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. Boy, do we got a good one for you today, like my man Steve Harvey said. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to the show. Hello. Welcome to Whiskey Ginger. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share it to everybody that you love and you know so we can keep doing this show forever and ever and ever, 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 Andre 3000. And also leave a comment down below for the Algo Rhythm if you're on YouTube because that helps uh, the Whisk Ginge get spread around organically on the um, YouTubes. Uh, really appreciate you guys. I'm on tour right now. I'm fi finishing up the tour. I'm in Albany tonight. Albany, New York at the Egg. And then uh, tomorrow I'm at Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. Um, come see me. AndrewSantino.com is the site. I'm also going to be in Seattle and uh, Portland and Green Bay with Chris Stefano. And then in Las Vegas. And we're rescheduling Vancouver, unless it's already been done by now. Uh, we're trying to figure all that stuff out. But AndrewSantino.com for those tickets. AndrewSantino.com for the tickets. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here... We pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's the return of Jan Pop, Jan Paparo. Tree Pete. Tree Pete for Jan Pop. Tree Pete, yeah. Someone's got the polka dot socks on. Someone does have the polka dot socks on. These are from, uh, what's the Swedish store that are, that's cheap? Ikea? H&M. Oh, same, same. These are from H&M. You had to I build get, those socks with your own two hands? I had to build my own. They, yeah, when you get <laughs> anything from H&M, they last, it's a couple of wears you get out of them. Yeah, about two or three. Two or three, and then they fall apart. They disintegrate. This, apart. this, I got, these are, I love these these sweatpants, and look, a little, little, uh, little snag a dag right there. Ripped a hole in it. Yeah, you can Real still, annoyed. You can still get a couple bucks on Poshmark for those. You think so? I was going to put them up on Wish and see if I could re resell them. Is that another Do you know sack? what Wish is? No. Oh, bro. Wish is like the, um, they sell like the knockoffs. Wish is like Washington Square Park. It's like you can go get knockoff stuff there, like Folkley's. Canal and, Street. It's yeah. like Canal Street. Yeah, yeah that's like the Street, knockoff shit. Yeah, do you, you have know? one of those in Chicago? Yeah, the whole, I think it's the West Side. West Side? Like the whole city. Yeah. The whole city is filled with knockoff shit. Yeah, it's all knockoff shit. <laughs> it's a knockoff city. Can, really, you, can you tell, yeah, of yeah. what? You guys? New York, yeah. We're better than you. Yeah, no, but your second city. We're one. And you know what the second is It too? has nothing to do with New York, but we just took it to mean New York no. because we wanted to think you thought you were the second You know what it's second to? You know what that really represents? It means you were the second in command to New Jersey. Israel. 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 We all are, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We this is Mike Drop. We're going to have a little sip sap of this one. Straight bourbon whiskey. This is from a good friend, uh, Drew Lynch. Drew Lynch. Shout out to Drew Lynch. A great dude. Great comic. He, he, I found out his love for... Uh, for the sauce, did yeah. you have? You have you had a little sauce I earlier tonight. I had a little tonight? sauce. I was over at a friend's house. I had a little sauce. You're allowed to say what friend it was. I was, I was, I was with the with the actual John Stamos. When were you I really was Stam? Were you really with Stamos? Yeah, I mean, we well, became buddies. What's going and on? I, I, what's going on with that? I'm just trying to get some stunt double work. I'm mean, like, hey, let me just be a light and stand in. I look like you if you were blind. So. <laughs> That, that's Stamos, blind yeah, Stamos. Yeah. So yeah, we just became it's it's a Greek, Greek connection. You got a lot of uh, redheaded friends. Who? Italian friends. Who? I don't know. You're Italian. Don't Italians stick together? No. Are you friends with the mafia? Who am I friends with? That's Italian. Uh, you're friends with uh, Paul Giamatti. Love. Yeah, we're yeah. best buds. Uh, you're friends with uh, Al Pacino, yeah, Robert De Niro. Yeah, true. You're friends with a lot of those guys. The yeah, Rock's I, part Italian. The Rock. Is he part Italian? I don't know. Simone in Italian? He's Some, got, he's some Italian? Something in there. Something in there. Cheers for you, baby boy. Cheers Thank you for you. coming. It's good to see you. I love you. It's good to see you. Salam. I just don't want to break these vintage chairs. <laughs> yeah, these are like real mad men. This is the real fucking This is the real deal. deal. You're yeah. moving up. In the, this studio is like getting real fucking We deal. got a new studio, and- I'm feeling good. Like I got my golf clubs in the corner, so let people know that I also play. You know? Yeah. Life's going good when you got when you got your car and the golf clubs. Things are going good. No, you know what? That's my set. That's my other set, and I brought it in here because what you got two sets of golf clubs? Well, dude, <laughs> so it's going a lot better than I thought. <laughs> really good. I got three sets. <laughs> this is no. They were so a here. Gift. I am with my these fucking were H and M socks. Well, these were a gift, and then um, from Drew Lynch. No, these were a gift from the from the company. Uh -huh. from PXG and I because I went out there and then I did a gig for them and they gave me new clubs 
And so these ones I had to take out of my garage because I'm we're cleaning out my garage. My garage flooded during the four months of rain that we four weeks of rain that we had. Sorry to hear that. That's okay. It's uh, how did it's you, okay. Did what, you pump it out? Would you? No, it was just it was just like a, a thin layer on the first. It's, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. Nothing. Up, everything up high was totally fine. It wasn't that much water. It was just. Did you have one moment at least where you go, "I'm out of here. I'm going to Austin," or no? Um, I have a house in Austin. You have a house in Austin. Right? I have two yeah, houses yeah. in Austin. Tax shelters. We got to get. Can them. I tell you where I really would move? Dallas, if I was going to go to Austin. You go or to, to Texas, I mean. Yeah? I go to Dallas. Why? A major metropolitan area. I went there. I had a great time. Me and Chris O'Connor, the guy that uh, comes with me on the road. Do you know Chrissy? You know Chrissy O'Connor. Sure, why not? You don't know? You don't know? I put, why am I? Why brisket? Like, let's not stop the flow. All right. If, well, if little, I, little, yeah. brisket, little Brisket and I were out there, um, and we had so much fun in Dallas. And also, you know, I think it was the, the time, maybe not the place. Patrick Mahomes came and saw me do stand up, and then we went out and hung out with those guys. That's nice. Also, it looks like you're friends with a little guy named Kelsey. Buds. Yeah, you guys are buds, and you were at probably the best football game that ever happened. That's Excuse what me. they say. That's a little Swedish schnooze going in the bucket. You got a little schnooze in there? Yeah, it's a little schnooze. Do you swallow snuff? You, just, you, you swallow the spit, but you don't swallow the snooze. No, no, I know that, but you swallow the spit? I do swallow the spit. I think most people don't, right? You're supposed to swallow it with the Swedish schnooze. They say you can swallow it. I don't buy it, though, because it's tobacco juice. It is tobacco juice. When I spit it out, it's brown. Huh. Yeah. But, you're, but they say you can swallow it. The Swedes did something to it, but I don't trust them because they don't care about life at all. You know, the they Swedes? let you die. The Swedes. Yeah, but I, don't they have a long life expectancy because they don't really care about anything at all? They would if they didn't kill themselves, but they are uh -huh. number one in suicide. It gets dark over are there. They? And they, yeah. Seattle and Sweden. Seattle, Sweden, Finland, Norway, because it gets dark over there. It's more physiological than anything. They yeah, well, that's true. What, what's that called? Uh, your, your circadian rhythm is thrown off, right? Right. Because right. you don't understand when it's day and when it's day. I went to, I went to um, Reykjavik. And it was the weirdest feeling on earth. It never got dark, dark. It was now, when you went to Reykjavik, did, did people probably didn't even think you were a tourist because you walking around there, you look like you could be native. Well, pale wise. You have a Scandinavian look, but you're Italian, you're tricky. I'm a tricky Italian you're, Irish kid though. You are, oh, the Irish is, that's where it comes from. This is the, I'm black Irish. That's okay. You're, yeah, you're black Irish. I'm African-American Irish, <laughs> as it were. Yeah. No, they, I, I, you know what? The, the, everybody up there look like, um, a more rugged Swede or a more like a more like, you know what I mean? Like a little bit tougher of a Nordic person. Right. They were their own little breed. The women were unbelievable. The men, not. No? Very believable. Women, unbelievable. Men, very believable. In Sweden, the men are, the mute, the men are hot too. Yeah, no, I would. Yeah, no, no. I've seen Swede, Swede dudes. I'd pork. Yeah, I'd pork. The, the, the guys, I'd roll around the sack with those you know, guys. There's a bunch of Swedes listening yeah, right but, now. But, the, but you're saying Iceland, not so much. <sighs> Just different tale, a different yeah. kind of guy, yeah. a different kind of guy, a different storybook. A yeah. lot of fishermen type of cats, you know. But the women were unbelievable. They had and and but it never got dark. And at night, night was you know there was a little bit. It was like dusk all the time. And they all blackout curtains inside the hotels. But it doesn't matter. You can still feel that it's. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't even wake up in the morning in a, in a hotel and the blackout curtains are up, but you're like. I can still see it's morning. Yeah. It does. Those blackout curtains don't do it. Yeah. You'd have to have an eye mask, you know? Yeah. Are yeah. you moving up on uh, your hotel status? Are you staying in fancy places when you go on the road? I'm still Delta Comfort. Let's just be honest. And that's a good, <laughs> that's a good flight. That's me springing. That's fine. Yeah. It's Delta me springing. Comfort process is fine. Did you, you, you just came in what? I'm on hotel, I'm on hotel tonight points. Yeah, but I'm on level seven. Hotels tonight is great. Yeah. Hotel, I'm on level deal. seven. I get 30 bucks sometimes back. I'm a Bonvoy I member. You're what? I'm a Bonvoy. I'm a Marriott Bonvoy member. Okay, I don't even know what that is, so that just lets you know we're in different places. No, no, no. All it is is I just get points from Marriott because I stay at the Marriott hotels. Okay. I don't. I feel like just committing to one hotel because I was about to say you're less, you're more loyal than you are fancy. 100. percent Right. I just want to get. I just want to get free nights. Right. Because we spend so much time in hotels. Also, you know, I don't care how nice a hotel is, they're all the same. It's a room. It's a place to poop and come. That's all it is. Definitely. Definitely, yeah. And that's all I do when I'm there is Definitely. poop and cum. Yeah. What a sad, it's a little box of poop and cum. It really, it's it's impossible that you're not going to tug on your glue gun. It's impossible. <laughs> you just got too much time in there. There's nothing to do. And it's a nice escape from home. And uh, Doesn't it feel so freeing when you're in that hotel when you're I don't leave off? hotel rooms now. Now that I have a kid, I don't leave hotel rooms. You can't jerk off at home ever again, huh? With a kid and a wife? Good well, luck. when you, I'm a new dad, so it's like you get, the, the baby goes to bed about seven. The wife, because she does, let's be honest, I'm the second string off the bench. At least. She's for, yeah. I, I'm sometimes in the G League. Mm -hmm. She's, she runs, she runs the organization. Right. She does most of the work, so she's tired. She goes down early. And then I have a second night. 
that's my time. I go down to the basement, mm. which I renovated. Mm -hmm. I play tugboat. Mm -hmm. I watch mm -hmm. docs. True crime all night. I go to bed at about four. I wake up at about seven. I help her take a nap. She goes to bed. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Well, that's okay. When, dude, when, when the wife and the kid are asleep and I go down into that basement, I don't know if there's anything better. I, I'm trying to, I didn't think it would get better than some of the moments I had when I was younger, like some nice tail, mm -hmm. you know, being with, you know, if you don't know what tail is, beautiful women, you know, great <laughs> moments on the court. Like I scored a hoop that won a game. I've done all those types of things. Yeah. This is number one. That, the dad part of the night, when everyone's down. Right. When, when it's daddy, daddy time. I'm just alone down there. You go get the jacket. You I put look the leather at my jacket penis on? and I just discipline. I discipline. <laughs> I go, you've been bad. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes I go for two, three rounds. Do you wear the jacket? You wear the leather jacket? I wear the, on? I wear the I jacket. I want you to jerk off just with just the jacket just, on. You can Naked hear just, the leather like an SNL sketch. Just, <laughs> yeah. 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 Right now I'm on leather on leather on this chair and I don't want to stop it. Do you think it was, do you think you wore the leather because you went to go see Stamos? Stamos? Yeah. I think I did. I think I wore leather. He's a wear leather to my house type of guy. Yeah, he is a kind of yeah. If I, I wore sweatpants, would he say something? I think he wouldn't let you in. Yeah. Really? Yeah, or I think he'd say the garden's out back. Yeah. I don't think I think I go get to work. Yeah. He'd get to work. He just yeah. thinks I'm an Irish potato farmer. He's exactly. like, get back there, you schmuck. Yeah. I don't think he'd get into that house. Is his house ostentatious or is it regular? No, his house is regular. He's a he's a really nice down to earth guy. His house is nice. Of course. But it's not ostentatious. It's not, oh come on. You're not going, oh come on. He's got like um he collects a lot of stuff. He's got like memorabilia and stuff. I put on uh, Elvis's glasses. He what? Had, you want to see? He let you touch the glasses? Yeah. I figured you'd keep that in a case and never let anybody touch it. He, yeah, he, I put them on. Wow, I the king. I stole them. I have them. The king. Yeah, but these you put are on Elvis's glasses. So he collects stuff. That's when you know you're rich when you can collect stuff. Yeah, because you got like you can you're bored with spend money. Your money on weird shit. Right. Yeah. yeah he. Um, what would what, you collect if you had unlimited funds? Do you collect shit now? You got uh, a couple of coins. I got I got one coin I inherited from my great granddad. It's me and Elvis's glasses. Wow. One coin from my great granddad. From... Also, you look really good here. Do I look good? You look really good. Send me this picture so I can show the audience, will you? I will. Wow, that looks nice. Yeah, those are. You got those a, are, You got uh, something that you could. What? You got a coin from your. Pump? I got one coin from my great uncle from uh, ancient Rome, like an old coin. What? From one of the emperor periods. How much do you think that's worth? Not much. I checked it out. I was willing to hock it. Like four grand? Yeah, I was willing to part with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's when you go to that pawn store, pawn stars on in Vegas. Mm. And a guy, there's always a couple of guys that come in, they're like, I think it's about 40 or 50K. And then an expert comes in, he's like, this is worth $67. <laughs> yeah. He's you know, like, fine, take it. It's like when you find, like, I've looked through my old baseball cards and I found a few, and then you have that moment where you feel like you just, you hit the jackpot. You're like, oh my God, this is going to be worth so much. And then you go to the computer, you see like a hundred of them. Yeah. I had that moment with Barry Bonds. I found a Barry Bonds rookie. There, There's so many of them. And mine was mint too. I thought I was rich. I thought I was going to be able to quit comedy. No way. No, no. way, dude. It's also, worth like those 12 things, bucks. Those things are what, uh, those things are like NFTs for our generation. Yeah. They Baseball are bullshit. Cars, yeah, yeah. They're bullshit. It's total <laughs> yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah. And then you're like, it'll be worth something someday. You'll see. And then now, all these years later, you're like, it's 35 bucks. I think I figured out what the whole thing is, NFT thing. Give it to me. Right? So like, okay, it's kind of like a scam, but everything's a scam. Sure. In, in that, all you got to, like, if I buy, if I buy an artist thing, right? Mm -hmm. Me and you, if we bought an artist thing and we told uh, NFT or whatever, a digital art or yeah. one of those sad gorillas, right? Mm -hmm. And then we told all our friends to tweet about the artist who- We bought. We bought. Yeah. Right? Um, then we jack up, we make it cool because we're the fucking coolest cats around. Fact. We pull up the value and then we sell it. Dump it. And then we sell it. But we created the worth. Isn't that, but that's mo that's all art. The difference is to me, you, there's no tangibility. I can't touch the sad ape. You can't, you shouldn't touch in the museum either though, art. No, but I can physically buy a piece of art and hang it on my wall. Okay, but if you get the Samsung frame, you can put one of those baby gorillas up in the Samsung frame. Different story. Now I'm kind of into it. Yeah, that, that's but there's the, something about physical art that was actually drawn and physically it has soul made. in it. You can see, like the, some those of you the, felt it. Yeah, those are the you're seeing the strokes. Look of at the, this. This is a beautiful piece of real art. Yeah, the kid that uh, Ted he Mons. does all of them. He's yeah, the best. Ted but I mean, like this is real. It's incredible. So I mean, like, the tangibility. I know you're not supposed to touch art in a museum, but like you know that he piece by piece made it. You can feel it instead of a drawing that's on the internet. That's what I think is the big difference to me. I'm not saying it's not worth to, to kids to get into, 
I know I have no business in there. Just don't miss the boat. Why are you on the boat? Are you taking a little time boat the out boat, there? I'm not on the boat, but I got to get on it. I'm not gonna. I'm ch- actually trying to pitch you on what we should do. Well, we what are we doing? We buy a piece of art. Mm. We drive up the value. We sell it. We quit comedy. We go golfing. Now you said it's quick comedy twice. Do we got to do this? We got to <laughs> do like, this. We got to get out of here. <laughs> we got to get out of this damn business. What are you doing right now? Why are you? What are you doing in LA? You just poking around, taking some meetings. Are you? Are you buying some? Are you buying? Some, are you buying a house? <laughs> funny if I just came on your real podcast estate? to pitch that I'm now in real estate. Like, hey guys, I don't do it anymore. But listen, if you're looking for a place in South Florida, I got a four bed, four bath. Just hit my. Here's my business card, <laughs> and I had a business card. Yeah, I mean, I could just get in real estate. No, I'm doing comedy. I'm, you know, I'm still, I'm doing comedy. I got the podcast, Long Days. No, I'm saying, what are you doing here, Papa? What oh, what am I doing here? In LA. I'm here for you. I just came for you, babe. Shut up. Yeah, no, I'm here. That's it. You're taking a meeting, and what are you here for? Why don't you I tell am, me the truth? I, w- I Today, I did a uh, sketch and a podcast with Babylon B. You know those What's guys? What's Babylon B? They're like, um, they're like the uh, like a new onion. They do like um, Babylon B. Babylon B. So it's 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 fake like an onion fake thing. comedy news. Yeah, fake they do like fake comedy news. Who are the who are the presenters? Babylon B. I'm Babylon just looking. Babylon B. You could just check their Twitter. And who are the and who are the humans? Who are the humans? Yeah, like you remember their names? Do you not know any of the people that are on Babylon B? Uh, I met them all today. They're it's a, good it's a guys. lot of humans, huh? There was like three or four good guys. Okay. They're great guys. How'd you get connected? Walt, with, how'd you get connected with Bab B? They reached they reached out to me. They said, "Do you know Andrew Santino?" And I said, yeah, if you get me, I'll get you Santino. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do it now. That's how I get booked. I say, you know, I, they go, they go. can you give us Andrew Santino's number? I say, here's the deal. You put me in it first, and then I'll get you Cheeto. You can absolutely give anybody my number. Everyone, give everybody yeah, my number. In fact, you on. Here's They're my great. number right there. My number right there. Right they'll they'll put the, it up right there. Yeah. That's my number right you there. You should just do it and just take calls. You know what people put, you know what comics put up this fake thing, like call me or text me. Yeah. You know, and it was like a, whatever, this third party line they're doing for promotional and marketing and stuff that. like that. Yeah. But people are still doing it. Uh-huh. Come on. Who so, really, who really was like, this is your, is this your real number? Right. Is this it? I could, I could text, I could text, could you imagine? Yeah. And, Nobody would put their real number. What are we talking? Why, no. whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? No. Drew Lynch, by the way. Very nice. Shout out to Drew yeah. Lynch for the mic drop. His mom is like a, um. Comedian? Yeah, she's a uh, no. She's a magician. His mom is. Um, he had told me, and I'm too dumb to remember, but she she basically is like a connoisseur of whiskey. She got her, her like bourbon, her like whiskey cart. She like took a test. She's like really really smart. Knows everything about whiskey. And Mike Drop is supposedly. I don't know. Good. No, he said he wanted me to try this, mm-hmm. and we and he gave it to me because he's a sweet little prince. Now, even if it was, if it was not good, would you tell him? Would yeah. you would you call him like it was it, this was shit? You I would say it's just, I would I, I would say a little bit less harsh. Right, <laughs> this is trash, you <laughs> fucking loser. No, I would I'd be like this is not my style. It's yeah. not for me because there's a lot of stuff out there that isn't for me. You know, this is good though. It's, uh, it cool. is. It actually is pretty good. So wait, are you on the road? Are you touring? Yeah, you- I was in San Diego. I did uh, American Comedy Company. I'm did, cold. Yeah, I did. How'd I'm that cold. go? It was great. It basement. was great. The it basement, was, baby. Basement is basically if. That setup is, you could basically go to the CDC website and they would say, don't do that. (laughs) (laughs) It was shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, it's just packed, low ceilings. It's like, it looks like comedy at the end of the world in a bunker. But it looks like comedy. That's the best. Isn't that kind of what, that's a seller? Sellers like that, you know? Comedy should be that. Ceilings should always be low, tiny, tight. Yes. Keeps the laughs That's when you can like kind of feel it. Yes. What, what's the next run for you then? Where are you going? After this, I go back to New York, and then I'm coming right back to LA for the Super Bowl. You're going to Super Bowl. I'm going to Super Bowl. You excited? Um, I am. I'm not. I I don't know Kelsey, but who knows if they're going to the Super? Bowl. You know what's so funny? This going, episode, will, this episode will have already aired after the Super Bowl. Yeah, they won it. What a game! They will, and you know they're going to win. I mean, who's going to take them out now? Wait, when's the Super Bowl? When Super Bowl is going to be on Feb- February twelfth? Twelfth? No, like that. no, thirteenth. Thirteenth. That's in two days. That's in two from days. From today. What happened? What's no, going to happen? No, what's going to happen? It's in two days. <laughs> what's going to happen? So wait, you're for sure coming back for the Super Bowl? I'm coming back. So my, I have a sports show on uh, BetMGM Unleashed. And so me and uh, Olivia Harlan Decker, she's uh, I know. Tech- I've, seen, I've seen you post a lot. You've seen those things. Yeah. So, she's, uh, so we're going. And uh, we're doing like a live event. I think we got T.O. I'm going to get you on that show. I'd love to. Would you do that show? Uh, why, why, why would I say no to you? a little scratch too. I'd never say no to Bet you. BetMGM has a little scratch. T.O.? T.O. We're getting T.O. Love T.O. Good guy. 
and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to the Super Bowl. So I'm coming back for that, and then I go to Tampa, and then I got other road dates. Giannispappascomedy.com. Giannispappascomedy.com. What do you think about uh, about uh, AB uh, AB's freak out then? I mean, I don't want to say CT. I, something's up. I should clarify for people that don't know. Antonio Brown had a yeah. little freak out. Maybe you saw it. Yeah, get a little freak out. They would have won that game if they had him. <clears throat> if they, had, I don't know. They were so sh- they were shorthanded. That's either way. Needed. You don't take off your helmet and take off your jersey and throw it up in the air and leave in the middle. No. And then I just read today, even though there's going to be old news when this comes out, uh, that uh, I don't know if this is a was a joke, but he was offered two hundred thousand by the team for mental health counseling, and he was like. Are you, is that a, is that a joke? I'm good. What do you mean? You, I'll give you 200. Isn't that crazy though? It's like, but they are reaching out. I think that is a good thing that they did that. They're like, Hey man, look, we're willing to get you some help because I think the answer isn't what Chappelle used to talk about when he was, when the people just called him crazy or like, that's it. You're just going to call someone crazy and write him off. You don't want to like have interest in why they react the way that they react. It's dismissive. It's It's disgusting. Yeah. It's like like saying you, you, it's like saying you're one thing because you did one thing once you're one thing for the rest of your life, which is the culture. Now it's like, Oh, you made a mistake. That's who you are forever. But I just think like I I was, I'm interested if you guys have ever, did you guys talk about that on the show? We did talk about it. What do you feel? I feel personally, I think it's CTE. You do? You think it's I brain do. damage? You know, you remember that hit? Uh, what was it? Marquis uh, Burfick was Burfick. His last name was Burfick. Yeah, it's per- it's Burfick. Burfick. Yeah. That hit. I mean, if you look at the timeline after that hit, I know he's had issues all the way f- going back from before that. Yeah, it's not the first time he's had a freak out. No. So, but I chalk that up to just being like a spoiled athlete, like just so good. And so that's how. That's see. That's how I see those things. That's yeah. the problem. Is what there's a fine line between when Kanye West pulls a Kanye West. And when you go, something's really going on. Right. I think the stuff previous, uh, before that hit um, by Burfick was like spoiled athlete stuff. Like, you know, I'm so talented. Everyone's always said yes to me. I can get away with anything yeah. because I, they need me out there. And True. so he's done some stuff. But now this doesn't make sense. It's like you're about to make your bonuses. You're about to make your money. You, you, you got a chance to go to Super Bowl, get even more money. You know, can you be in a better situation than the box with Tom Brady? And but you know what they say? Hmm. Sometimes people love to be self-destructive when things are going the best. There's a certain personality that, that, that when it's likes going that. the best, yeah. it's like this is when I ruin it. Yes, right here, right now. There is a personality that like that is like that. So, Maybe he's that. Yeah, I mean that could be that could be kind of it. Like, I have, did we you have friends see like that, that hit though? I mean, like if you watch <clears> that hit in slow motion, I remember what you're talking about, dude. He like his head snaps, came on a swivel, and then he like, just like Whoa. he was like laid out. Like I mean, it's like getting hit by a car in the head all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, what do they say? It's like a car accident in every game. I, look, I. You know, unfortunately, you're a doctor. You tell me what's wrong. Well, let me tell you. Yeah. Uh, After extensive amount of research that we've done, we found that that reaction that he had was from the booster, was from the Pfizer booster. Now, you see, (laughs) (laughs) that's the truth people don't want to (laughs) know. That's the real truth. (laughs) That's That's the Pfizer booster, bud. Yeah, that's the Pfizer booster. People worried about getting the booster, you might freak out and quit your job, throw your helmet off when everything is going incredibly well and throw your jersey. That's the side effect of it, yeah. Dude, actually, that, uh, speaking of that game that I By was the way, at. Do you have any ivermectin here? I just want to rub some on. That's what this is. Okay. This is Mike Ivermectin. Thank you. With that guy that ran on the field of the KC game and got tackled by Stefan Diggs, it was probably the greatest thing I've ever seen. That's and hilarious. also, I was wishing, hoping, praying that he got really, really hurt very, very bad. Yeah. Not only this guy run on the field, which I'm not into. You this ran is, on the field where there's football players on. Their job is to tackle you. And also, yeah. it was in the middle of the most one of the most integral parts of the game. Yeah, You do that in the beginning if you're trying to do that and be cool, blah, blah, blah. Do it in the regular season. Do it at the beginning of the game. Don't do it in the playoffs at the end of the game when it matters. That guy would have been Bartman if something really, really bad happened. Right. That would have been his legend for the rest of his life. Right. You fucked it up. Right. And Bartman didn't even do anything wrong. No. He caught a foul ball. He did catch a foul ball. He Bartman, and it wasn't. People forget the rest that there needed to be more game. Yeah, we lost. Play. Any, we yeah. lost anyway. It's sort of like the Bill Buckner play. That was game six. Right, it wasn't the end. It wasn't the end, but that's all people remember. Mentally, it is the yeah. end. But Did you ever was. have a moment in your career when you thought that was the end? Yeah, now. <laughs> <laughs> you do this show. You're about to get canned after this, buddy. <laughs> Did I have a moment? Um, I haven't. No, I mean the delusion is what you need to keep going in this thing. Yeah, you you don't you. You don't ever feel, do you ever feel satisfied? Do you feel satisfied right now? You're a father. Yes. Life's good. You got a great show. Yes. So you do feel satisfied. I very, I've never been happier, to be honest with you. Yeah. The balance, the personal life is very important to this career. 
Because once you take away, once you, especially when you have a kid and a family and like, you know, a wife and like your relationship with the wife is good, that stability enables you, frees you up to be unstable, more unstable in this, I think. Sure. When that's unstable, then you're, then everything's unstable. Then it's just a, it's a, it's a ticking time bomb. I think it's, I think it's important at some point. The fun years are, are necessary too. Yeah. We, I had my fun years. But, but it's, it's over the, now. It's no, more over. no more fun. No more fun. No more fun. No more fun. You talk yeah. about it like it could ever happen again. Yeah. That's it. I don't want to fun. I don't now. have any fun. Yeah. There's no fun. You no, get, it's nice. It's like it, and also it's nice to think about somebody else. That's nice for to when we're we're, this, we're in the narcissism business. hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah. it's nice to we're just, in a room with cameras. We're in a room, we're talking. We we're spending more time talking on camera than we did before. I got here, we said hello, we I said, all, sit down. Yeah, and then we're like, let's sit let's down. rock. Yeah. Um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's Sit good down. to think about a, somebody else. That's that's a relief. I think that's healthy. I do think this is a very judgmental statement, but I do think that when you're a comic and you have no, no personal life, no hobbies, no interests, you die on the road alone. I think it's so sad and scary. And then we yes. see guys like that. And I know guys yes. like that, and I'm like, you don't have anything. You don't do anything other than this thing. You know, like I want I want to go to Europe, and when I wrap the tour before I shoot again, and I said I'm, I said I think I need to go to Europe for like a month. And we just need to go. We're going to just go. I love that. Yeah. And you know, the first thing out of my agent's mouth. Yeah. You want, are you, you want to do a show while you're yeah, over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away. Yeah. I was like, and you know what's so sick? Yeah. I literally went, no. And I was packing up uh, packing up to leave for the day. Yeah. And I turned to my wife and I was like, maybe I'll do one show. And yeah, it, like, that's, yeah, it's yeah. so sick. It's like smoking a cigarette or an addiction or something. It's I'll do so one. sick. I'll do, what if I do one? Next thing you know, you're on tour in Europe. In Europe. <laughs> I, yeah. I make her go back home. I'm like, I got 17 more dates. <laughs> We're selling out of Amsterdam tomorrow. We got to go. <laughs> no, I just wanted to go great, get away. Man. Yeah, we're going to go get away. That's great. In here, we pour whiskey. Hey, I've talked about Squarespace on this show many a times because I use Squarespace and it's probably the only thing that I was able to use successfully uh, without flubbing it up. Uh, whether you're someone that's creating content like a myself or uh, you're an art teacher or you're a power lifter and you want to give classes online and you want to get your message out there organically as much as you can, Squarespace is a great way to create a website, to publish, showcase your work, uh, sell products and services, which is what I like to do. I sell myself. I sell myself, sell my body and my voice. Uh, but Squarespace is incredible. They have powerful e-commerce functionality. It lets you sell anything on the internet. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box because everybody's on their cellular phones. Analytics that are going to help you grow in real time. It's a new way to buy domains and to choose from over 200 extensions, okay? And if you're as dumb as I am and you don't know what that means, it just means the limits are non-existent. Possibilities are endless, my friend. Built-in search engine optimization, free and secure hosting, 24-7 award-winning customer support, and nothing to patch or upgrade literally ever, whether you're an artiste, your creative consultant, uh, personal trainer, uh, you run a studio, you're a nutritionist, uh, restaurants, bars, whatever you are, you got to use Squarespace, create your site on there. And I'm telling you, it's going to be nice. It's going to be sexy. Go to squarespace.com slash whiskey for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Once again, squarespace.com slash whiskey. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code whiskey to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Love is in the air. Everywhere you go, love is in the air. Love's in the air. It's almost Valentine's Day, my friends. What's going on with you? You need to get your uh, you need to get your ding dong hard. You want to lose your V card on the V day? You got to do it, and it's hard to get hard sometimes. As you get older, especially many, 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 many millions of men suffer from erectile dysfunction. It's not uncommon, and with ED treatments, you can have the self assurance that comes with knowing you're paired for the moment to get the blood a flowing down to the rocket. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan if prescription medication is appropriate. If it is, they're going to ship to you for free with two-day shipping. Come on. They offer five prescription treatments, including the brand name and generic versions of the most common ED medications. I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with it, all right? We're all getting older. We're all losing the blood flow. And uh, if you need help getting it up, you need help starting the engine, getting the vroom vroom, you got to use Roman. With Roman, you're going to get free ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort of your own home. You're not going to leave your house. All right, the whole process is straightforward, convenient, and very discreet, which I know a lot of people want to know. Who's going to know? No one's going to know. You're going to know, you goof. Getting started is simple. Just go to GetRoman.com slash whiskey. That's GetRoman.com slash whiskey. Complete an on online visit. 
And uh, get prepared for Valentine's Day the right way. Get Roman.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. We need a little vacation because I've been working nonstop. And then, you know, also bullshit. And also it does give you, I mean, I hate to think about it this way, but if you don't live a life, then you have really nothing to talk about. You know, it gives you things yeah, to talk about. Yeah, I've always felt that way. Yeah, yeah. Some, I ran, there was a, I'm not going to mention the comedian's name, but I'll never forget. We were in line waiting for Last Comic Standing. My third. That fan, I know you're talking about. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my third or fourth year doing comedy in LA something like that you were at your best that's when I was on my hottest yeah. I was pistons were burning Yeah. and I waited in line to go do last comic standing we slept outside but I will say that experience was incredible because we slept overnight in a line and it was like bonding between. it was like trauma bonding yeah. you know Yeah. and um, and a, a comic that I don't really know that well and she said to me I've been doing comedy for 12 years and I was like oh why are you doing this? Like, this is for scrubs on the way in, you know? And she was like, oh, I stopped being funny a long time ago and I just found it again recently. I was like, why? She's like, because I met somebody. And I was like, you think that's the only thing? And in retrospect, I thought she was full of shit. But then I was like, as I gotten older, I'm like, no, you know what? She, she probably was so lost and empty and focusing on comedy and she just didn't, there was nothing funny anymore. Right. There's nothing fun about just just do just doing comedy twenty four seven. It's miserable yeah, existence. It's miserable, yeah. You don't get to be a human ever, and then no. you get consumed, and then you if you do win like that, you win and you're sad and you're alone. Yes. And we know those people. It's like it's a bummer. You're like that. What a sad win, dude. Yeah. There's nobody else in the locker room. No. You can spray champagne on yourself. Yes, that's bad. It's really weird. It's and then, you know like Jim Carrey, you know, one of the most talented guys ever, but it's like, you know. Every red carpet now, he, we got to hear about how he's like a Buddhist now or whatever. It's like, <laughs> it's like we get it, dude. Like you, you know, that's there is nothing. Nothing yeah, is none real. None of us are real. We're not. It's like, dude. You yes, know, we are. We're very. We are real. real you yeah. know, some of us got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> we can't just fucking finger paint all day, <laughs> flip paint around in our fifty million dollar yeah. mansion. It's convenient that you found you found this spirituality after your hundred million dollar check. You could have been spiritual any time before that. <laughs> yeah. It just so happens now after you got your hundred million. You got plenty of time to sit around and think about it. The people that are the most religious, I think I've said this before on here, are the richest people in the world and the poorest people in the world. Because the poorest people in the world want hope. And the richest people in the world want reason. And people in the middle are busy as fuck. That, I love that. It's they're true. busy as fuck. That is just a true Everybody statement. else in the middle, it doesn't mean they don't believe in it. Yeah. It's just their foundations aren't as strong. Yeah. Some of the most religious people I've ever met were the poorest people in the most socioeconomically disparaging parts of the country. Yeah. And some of the most unbelievably wit, like creepy rich people have the same kind of drive for religion. Right. And it's because they want reason for why me. Why did I get $80 million? What, what am I? Who am I? And, and the poor people want the same thing. Why me? Why, why me? Why, why don't why I have, have $80, $80 million? Why I have $80? <laughs> why, yeah. have $80? why did I work all week for $80? Yeah. And, and people in the middle are just, middle are just. They have jobs. Yeah, they're they're just, fucking busy and they have four kids and they got to take them to soccer. Yeah. Church. I mean, that's kind of how I always felt when I was a kid was like going to church was such a task. Yeah. Because you we had so much shit. Yeah. So it was like, uh, it was a job to go to church. And it felt that way for my parents too. Yeah. So it was just like, we had shit going on. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was like, we were religious, you know, we were Catholics and we were kids and then uh, Presbyterian because of my dad. But then. At some point, we all kind of voiced it. We're like, we don't want to. Can we just relax on Sunday? Yeah. We had so much shit to do all week. It's like a. It's like another day job. I don't want to have. Yeah. On fucking Sunday. You didn't grow up with religion, did you? I did. I grew up Greek Orthodox. Oh, just... that's the worst. No, not that bad. No, I mean the people. The people. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the people. The, the people, people are, are trash. Yeah, they're trash. They're trash. They really are horrible people. Yeah, <laughs> that I forgot about that aspect. That's which, the one thing that's I talk the about. One thing about it. Yeah, they, the people are bad for sure. But I was just thinking, if there was a religion expo, uh, like if you went to like you know an expo, the Los Angeles Convention Center. Yeah, if there was a convention center and they were all out there and they were doing their pitch and you got to pick. Oh. You know, Catholics going like, you know, etern way, eternity, you get that. Way down the list for me. I mean. Too much guilt. Too, talking in a booth is weird. I don't like any of that. Yeah, it's not. They're not offering a lot. Historically, got a bad rap sheet lately. Bad rap sheet. They're putting up, they're putting up numbers. numbers. They're putting up numbers. <laughs> then you go, Mormons, I'm listening. I want to hear it. Muslims, I'm listening. Uh, I'm listening. I'm listening. Muslims going, hey, look, bum, bum, bum. You can't do a lot here. Got to sacrifice a few foods. 
five times a day, hit the floor. But but hit women. They can't look you in the eye. They gotta walk behind you. They got, can't drive. Can't drive. I mean, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> a lot of good things. This is knocking everything off off the list. And, and then I'm, when you die in paradise, seventy two versions. Seventy two. So many. So they're going, hey, and when you die, you get you know you get that, and you're going, that's dope. But then Mormons are going, I'm over here. They're going, what that guy just said, you get that now. now. It's a genius so, idea. So, you know, and, and I go, how many? They go, in, infinity, you know, keep going. There's no number. However many you want, yeah. you know? 72, we you made can start the, with. Yeah, this is an American religion. We don't, there's no end to up here. <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't cut you off. There's no 86. <laughs> Invest that. Keep going. Get more. I think, I'm, what I'm saying is, I think in an expo, a religion expo, I think Mormon, feet on the ground. Yeah. In the real world. Yeah. If you had to choose. You weren't raised. Your parents right. didn't inculcate you. Let's say you knew nothing about you religion. You knew nothing You're about empty. religion. I'm yeah. going Mormon. Yeah, it's a good. The only thing. I, the only thing is tough for me, is no caffeine. No, they don't do caffeine. Can't. Okay, but listen. You know. You know. We, we know. We give you in the place of caffeine. Huh? As many women as you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Besides. No, I read this thing recently. I, actually, it, I, yeah. I watched this TikTok group of people that are trying to defame the Mormon Church, like ex Mormons. It's kind of wild. And what they say is hot drinks are not allowed. So coffee was banned, but uh, diet soda and energy drinks are okay. Coffee. That's sort of like take your hat off at the strip club type 100%. of thing. Yeah. yeah. What, how, What's the difference? There's caffeine and all that stuff. I right? know, but they say it's like, it's not the caffeine. It's technically hot drinks. And they say hot tea, hot coffee, no way. Iced coffee, energy, iced coffee, no way, because it's from the hot drink drink. Well, what about energy, energy drinks? Totally okay with the Mormon church. Can't even have a hot toddy. I know, a good hot toddy. That's tough. Good. I didn't know that. When I, when I just did that whole expo. See what I mean? No hot drinks? I didn't know that. What are you talking about? No hot chocolate anymore? Catholics okay with hot drinks? They're with hot boys. <laughs> <laughs> as long as the hot drink is brought out on a tray by a little hot boy. Yeah. A little hot boy, little baby. Little hot boys. Yeah, they're okay with hot stuff. Yeah, yeah, they want Catholic, hot stuff. They want hot stuff. Yeah. They want little hot stuff. I think you're right. In the religious expo, I think that's where I would, I'd probably go down one of these. I'd try something wacky. Would you try Jew? Yeah. There's, you know, they have no heaven, no have no hell. All about good deeds. Yeah, love good deeds. Mitzvahs. How many mitzvahs have you done? Bris. Uh, I'm into all that. Yeah. Fun. That's fun stuff. I just think like, what? A lot okay, of how holidays. A lot of holidays. That's your Trump. Too many holidays. Too many the holidays. Jews have too many holidays. <laughs> Everyone knows. <laughs> what too many holidays? <laughs> I don't know, but I do. Maybe something like uh, Buddhism might be chill too. I I might adopt that. That's a pitch that I could get behind. It's fine. That's, you, you know, what I look like there's not I, much to it. I look at Buddhism like a comedian with a guitar. It's uh, like you're not really doing comedy. You're faking it. You're, you're, yeah. So Buddhism calls itself a religion, but <laughs> there's no God. Everything sucks. Right. It's like that. Just sounds a lot like life it's a cop-out yeah it's kind of like you're not really a religion unless you have a god unless you kill the other religions yeah unless you're doing bad stuff yeah unless there's guilt right i want some fucked up shit i want my religion fucked up i don't yeah. want it making sense and buddhism just makes too much sense yeah it's They're very going, life is miserable uh you don't won't get any pl uh fulfillment out of your stuff and you're like you're a fucking buzzkill <laughs> <laughs> tell me, you know. Stop I'm, telling me the truth. Yeah, I just got a fucking Mercedes. Are you gonna tell me it's not gonna bring me happiness? Go fuck yourself. You know, I want, I want that Creflo dollar. I want my private plane. You know, if you ever got rich enough, would you take PJs? Like I see a lot of guys taking private jets, right? PJs. They take the PJs. Now. I like referring to them as PJs. That's well, that's a cash. That's cash money records. Always yeah, started dude. that. The PJs. Yeah, I'm you like, would? I'm like Joe Coy, fucking hitting stadiums. It's who's take, who's hitting private jets right now? The two biggest. Two biggest acts right now are Joel Olstein and Joe Coy. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, they're Same doing audience. arenas. Yeah, they are. Same audience. No, but I mean, guys like Burr, yeah. you know, look, these guys don't brag about it, but yeah. at that level of Burr and Segura and all those guys, you know, they're doing it. I don't believe it unless they do a hype video about it on Instagram. I know, right? That's know the hot that, thing. Yeah. Like Schultz. Schultz, he man, he loves throwing them jets online, oh, dude. That's yeah. his thing. We on a jet, we dude. On a jet. Uh, but it's uh. one of those jets where it looks like the wing was just put back on. <laughs> yeah. Where they were like, this will get there, <laughs> but it's going to get there, get there. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I just think taking those, I, I when I see that, like, dude, even with Rogan, up until I stopped, you know, opening for him, we, he, we were taking commercial flights, and I was always like, I'll fly commercial and meet you. He was taking commercial flights? Yeah, bro. We never flew private. Never. 
And I, wow. and, and I, multiple he's, times. He, likes to, he just likes to stay with two feet on the ground, that guy. I think he now, no after the Spotify nail, he's hanging behind my jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's changed. I just think, uh, but that, but I asked him one time, I said, I said, dude, I could, you know, because I met him. I was coming from somewhere else one time. And I said, dude, I, um, you know, I can just meet you anywhere on a shitty commercial flight if, why don't you just jet in? Like, why are you meeting me at this other shitty airport to take? And he was like, no, I don't fucking, I don't want it. I don't want it. It's a total waste. And I was like, that's a crazy way to look at it when you, it, I mean, it's, it's not at some point, it's not a waste. Right. But I, I think because yeah, he, he had ducats, he had ducats then. On, he dude, had he ducats was upon ducats. Fine, he yeah. was fine. I think, I think. So he was saying a waste of money, or is, like, is that what he I meant? think, I think he just, it just, he didn't see the value. Right. I think he was like, who cares? I, 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 maybe he thoroughly enjoyed sitting down in first class and watching you walk past him to coach. No, I, he got me. I, he let me sit in first. Oh, you class. got first class too? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, with JoJo. Yeah. yeah, but the thing was, I think you he, know, isn't that funny when they get when the uh, when a comic takes a guy and they sit in first class and they're like, "All right, I'll see you. I see you when we land." Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Are you kidding me? I it. would do that with my guy if yeah. I flew if we, we live in the same city. Yeah, I'd have to do it too. <laughs> do you, mean, are you I'd bringing somebody? Both, I'd have to put us both back there, huh? Are you bringing somebody? I brought someone to San Diego. Uh, his mom works for Delta, so he was able to fly. He's the perfect. Opener. Do I know who it is? Huh? Do I know? No, he's a, he's a very funny good. He's on my podcast now. Jared Harvin. He kind of worked his way into my podcast. He's a young 24-year-old kid. He's very funny. Harvin. Jared Harvin. Like that. Yeah. I mean, the kid's just jumping the line. I was names on all these podcasts. Now, Rogan said his name the other day. He did? Yeah, because uh, I got, uh, YouTube took an episode down, and the transcript, the time code was Jared talking, so Rogan said- Careful when you say transcript, please. Tran I'm sorry. Um, the script. The, the, it's they, a script. They script. It's- it's a, it's a script. It's not trans. It's a script. It's a script. The script. The script had his name in it, and Rogan said his name. You know who I heard on the radio yesterday that uh, an earlier song of his was uh, Willie Nelson? And his shit was fucking amazing. Not a great voice, though. You can't. No, no. Can, no, no. His, but his, the song was great. Yeah. And I only knew his later stuff. Right. But he could write some good fucking songs. He could write. Who are some other great songwriters? Not Carol King, great Carole songwriter, King. voice. Not as so much. Not as so much. I mean, who you else? Know. Who else? Great song, other bad voice. Uh, Miley Cyrus. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see the snuff pack that you just put in. I like Miley Cyrus because you could get a blowjob from a girl and it sounds like it's from a guy. Yeah. She's like, you was like that? that? Good? You was like that, that baby? Yeah, was that great? I think she's fucking incredible. She's, she's so talented. And uh, I think talented. her shit is good. Yeah. So this, is, this says... General Snus, original Swedish. General Warning, Snus this product can Sweden. cause dumb disease and tooth loss. Give big deal, dude. Big fucking deal. Take my teeth. Okay, so let me see this. So these are little pacazzos. Try one. No, no, gra no Go grazie. For it, no man. grazie, no grazie, no, no grazie. Not you, when I'm drinking this. That you can keep it in while you drink. I just don't believe that you can swallow this. Look it up. I think you've said that to yourself. 24 por uh, portion Swedish snus uh, must not be swallowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> Second thing on there. No, you could swallow. I'm telling you. Ingredients: water, tobacco, table salt, uh, propylene glycol, pH adjuster, which is a sodium carbonate. You're, you're, it sounds like you're reading the ingredients on a smoothie. This is my favorite. Yeah. Natural and artificial flavors. All natural. It's all natural. Yeah. And 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 artificial natural flavors. But they don't specify, so you don't think about it. I just get scared of this kind of stuff. I used to dip. I used to dip in college because. And you're uh, still here. No big deal. Well, because. Oh, and it stinks weird too. It it's, smells different than regular packets. Yeah, I don't know what they do. They supposedly they freeze dry it or something. They do something that makes it so you can swallow. Remember this, I remember pop guys, them in. Remember guys all who day. do this in college? Or yeah, whatever? that's the real dip. Yeah, that was such a thing to do in college. Yeah. But the reason that I dipped in college because I I was smoking at the time, yeah. and I couldn't smoke when I valeted. And a buddy of mine was like, "Just just dip," and I never got. I didn't get packets. I would get real hoss. And I put it, I put a fucking huge, I mean, like a silver dollar in my, in my mouth. And within 20 minutes, whoa, I've yarked everywhere. Yeah. Was too, I mean, all over the place. It was so strong. I mean, it was like smoking five cigarettes back to back to back to back. Yeah. To back. It was like chain smoking. The rush was way too much. I had no idea it was that much stronger to do it raw in the lip. And then I got into packets and I learned my little lesson. Packets are also easier to yeah. get around at a bar I could always have them you know what I mean you still have to spit with that packet you were using yeah but you'd spit in an old beer bottle yeah this you don't have to spit I'm telling you the Swedes figured it out I, I gotta Google I, you, it right I now. gotta ask Siri if you know exactly what you're talking ask about ask Siri she knows in here 
We pour whiskey. Today's episode of Whiskey is brought to you by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is the best in home security. You ever want to know what's going on with your house when you're not there? Of course you do. Uh, I am a huge fan of the new wireless outdoor cam from Simply Safe. They sent me a box of this stuff and I put little sensors all over my doors. I put cams inside, outside the house because I want to know what's going on inside. What is she doing in there? What is she doing in there? Simply Safe has everything you need to keep your home safe uh, from entry and motion sensors, to indoor and outdoor cameras. I got them over the garage. I got them over the patio. And I got them out the front. I got them out the side door as well. You know, you know them side door sneakers. Them side door sneakers like the wet bandits from Home Alone. They be sneaking in the side door. Simply Safe has everything you need to keep it very safe. Monitor 24-7 by professionals. Ready to dispatch police, firefighters, EMTs right to your house. It's less than $1 a day. And you can set it up in around 30 minutes. It took me about 45 because I'm not so smart. But you can do it faster, I promise. There's no long-term contracts or commitments. Look, you always get those updates on your phone about what's going on in the neighborhood. You want to keep your neighborhood safe. Uh, walk around at night, you know, and try to protect your neighborhood. You want to keep your house safe at night? Throw up some Simply Safe. Help get monitored. Call people in an instant if you need help. Simply Safe is great. Uh, you can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off of interactive, interactive monitoring. That's pretty good. Go to simplysafe.com slash whiskey, simplysafe.com slash whiskey. Hey, it's the moment you've been waiting for since September. It's finally here in honor of the big game. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56, is giving new customers 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5, a $5, get you a holla, and get 280 in free bets if your team wins. Download that DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code WHISKEY and get 56 to 1 odds on either team. Bet just $5 and get 280 in free bets if your team wins. I know who I'm betting for, and I'm not going to tell you. It's none of your business. Use that promo code WHISKEY at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 56, 21 and over. Minimum age and location requirements vary by jurisdiction. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for full list of requirements and state-specific responsibility Gambling resources, void where prohibited. Gambling problem, if you got one, sorry. Call 1-800-GAMBLER in Tennessee or text the TN Redline 1-800-889-9789. In Connecticut, call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org slash chat. In New York, call 877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. That's 467-369. Ginger. I like gingers. Can you swallow snus? General snus. Oh, is it just that? You got to go with Swedes, the Swedish snus. Yeah. Oh. You don't have to spit snus. There you go. There you go. You got it on the old. Is it totally okay to swallow snus spit or is it just relatively okay compared to chewing it? People have asked. You can't swallow the pouch. Put it between your lips and throw the way a pouch when it's over. How do you snus nicotine patch pouches? There is absolutely no need to spit when using snus. I'm not a liar. Spitting is a disgusting habit anyway. <laughs> Just go about your business as usual. Smile, talk, and swallow your snus. Yeah. Don't swallow the pouch, however, of course. Yeah. Well, I've done that a few times because I fell asleep with them in. You swallowed a pouch? They're gone in the morning. Oh, boy. Yeah. So either the tooth fairy came and took them or they're in my butt, my belly. You never pooped it out? Uh, if it did, it blend. I mean, it looks like a, you know, it could blend in nice with the poop. Like sometimes I've spit them in the bowl and they have them flush because they stuck to the side. And then I go in the next morning and I've been like, who's here? Somebody pooped in my, somebody, somebody pooped, pooped somebody bowl. left a poop. How many, how many of these are you taking a day? I'm all day. At this point, oh, it's all boy. day. Like I take one out, I put one in. I take this one out. This is new for one. you. I didn't know this for you before. I did it for a couple of years. 2015, I did it for like two years. From like 2015, 2017. Mm -hmm. Then I just got fat. What do you mean? You were never, when were you fat? No, I just chub up. If I'm not doing tobacco, I chub up because my appetite's too big. If I'm doing tobacco, I don't think about eating as much. I just, no. I deal with the tobacco. I'm a, I just love tobacco. It's not even like an anxiety thing or anything like that. I just love tobacco. But you don't like smoking. I love smoking. Really? Love it. But yes. you have, when was the last time you smoked? Um, is my wife, my wife is not a fan. It doesn't, is she subscribed? She's on the middle camera, not on the side. Yeah. So just talk to that one. Intermittently, I was, I was, I was ripping a few butts here. I always there. have one yeah. here and there. Can we you have, control yourself and do one? I hate you if you can. Uh, no, but what I'll do is I'll go a chunk of time when I'm feeling, and she's so supportive. It's so funny. I even said the other day, I said, I'm having a tough time because, you know, I was dealing with some shit that you know about. And I said, uh, gender identity issues. Well, 
if I'm going to fully transition. Yeah. I don't know if I yeah. want to, I don't know. Maybe I want to keep my thing done. Yeah. But I said, I'm having a tough time. And she was like, you know, there's cigarettes in the junk drawer. It was so oh, sweet. That was sweet. Cause she knew I kind of wanted to just like go outside, have a cigarette and, you know, sit and think. So you could do, just smoke one and then walk away. No, I guess what I was going to say is yeah. I know I didn't because I know I would have a few uh -huh. and the next morning I'd be like, I should go get a pack. That's me. And I've done that chunk where I've gone and I would go a month, two months. And then I hit a wall uh, all of a sudden out of nowhere. I'm like, what are you doing? You don't smoke again. That's not because I smoke for little chunks of my life in and out, in and out. I was never bad. I was never like a pack a day. Right. But half pack. Right. And that was more than I needed. Right. You know, there's it's a guy, smoke, there's a guy that's smoking uh, 20 cigarettes during this podcast. Yeah. Pussies. <laughs> Get with it. Yeah. There, I, I, the people who can do that, I hate them. The ones that can have one, one, one and walk away. It really bothers what me. What about stogies? Because that's a dream of mine. I love stogies. Me too. I love stogies. You have one at Stamos' house? Is he a smoky I, guy? We did not have one, but if you offered me, I would have had one. What do you, what do you, I would need to know what you do with this man. He's, because this is interesting. I know nothing about him. When we, you go kick it, you just kick it? We just kick it. Yeah, we just kick he's it. He's a sweet friend to you now. He's a cool dude. Yeah, he's just a nice guy. Like, he's a, you know, aside from the baby blood stuff, I mean. How much did he get? When like, he left to go do blood? that, I said, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to see it. Does he mainline it or drink it? No, no, he puts, he makes like a blend. It's like a Bloody Mary. Oh. Yeah, he's got like a tap. <laughs> <laughs> he, told, he showed me the bar, but I said I didn't want to see it. But he has like options. It's like you know, there's like I guess there's kegs down. He's got options. There's white baby blood, tie, there's brown white baby, baby blood, blood tie, and, yeah. And then he can mix them, sort of like a blend, like a Does whiskey he say blend. Which, which which baby blood is the sweetest? He he likes South Asian. That's his South, favorite. He like Indian, Pakistani. That's his favorite. Oh. Yeah. I forgot. But it keeps the, him looking uh, young. So I don't judge. Who am I to judge? It's another cult. It's a, it's Hollywood culture. It's Hollywood culture. It's Hollywood culture. I wish we could be a part of it someday. Yeah. Having baby blood on the PJ one hey. day. You and I. Yeah. One day. That's how they, you know. <clears throat> I forgot to congratulate you on the one-year anniversary of, uh, of Storm in the Capitol. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but congratulations, you did man. forget about that. That's crazy, yeah. man. Did you ever get caught? I didn't get caught. You I wasn't on clipped? camera, no. No. <laughs> but I am, you know, I'm getting the uh, Oath Keepers ready for round two. <laughs> <laughs> I think those guys should have practiced a little more. Should have like organized, you, yeah. Have hit like, the beach. Hit the beach. Get go, uni first of all, get uniforms. Go, go to like a tough mutter. Go yeah. run like an obstacle course before you really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even the Taliban guys are on the fucking monkey bars. <laughs> yeah, dude. You guys didn't do any prep. No course. No uh, no tires. No tires. No flipping tires. Nothing. Go storm some stuff first. Mm -hmm. Like practice storming. Storm a couple of local government buildings first. Start small. Yeah, then build your way up to the yeah, capital. Yeah, storm the TikTok ha hype house. Start there. <laughs> you know, you could storm the beach. You could just storm, pretend the water and just storm, storm the water. The, storm Normandy. And then like, because the, the sand makes you slower. It's like, you know, it's a great yeah. place to train. So you can get some, you know, mobility, some momentum. Mm -hmm. It was just, a, it was just, it was a mess. It was, if I was a coach, if I was the coach of that storm. I'd say, hey guys, played like shit out there. Yeah. Yeah. We, gonna, we can do better. We're going to redshirt a couple yeah, of you guys. Uh, yeah. It's like the Green Bay Packers in, in, in uh, the playoffs. It's like Loves, second half. Loved, like, what's going on? Loved. Love to see that, as you know. Oh, my God, did that make me so happy as a Chicago you know boy. Lead, you know who loved to see it even more than you? <clears throat> Dr. Fauci. Dr. Fauci. He loved it. Dr. Fauci, you loved, loved it. Because he, he just loved to see A. a Rogers go down. Yeah, I just like to see him. That was also really funny after I, as a Chicago kid, after I uh, posted pictures of going to the game, and everyone's like, oh, you fucking traitor. They're like, you fucking bandwagon. It's like. First of all, no, you're going like, no, I'm an adult now. So it's like, I'm. Yeah, when you I'm, grow up. Yeah, I'm down on the you field. You feel I'm, different about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. It's like, when you get a friend who plays professional sports, you feel a little different about it. Yes. You're like, I'm going to support their team. Yeah. You don't go, I can't talk to you because I'm from Chicago. It's insane. Yeah. There are people that like that, though. <laughs> yeah. But there's a grown men that are like this that are like, no, you true, you fucking traitor. Yeah. Like, what? No, I'm a Bears fan. You know, we're done, right? Yeah. You know, we're in, we're at home. They're, they hit the showers. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. What the fuck do you want me to do? Not root for a friend? That's. Right. It's, it's, it feels kind of weird when people say shit to you. Like, that guy said that at the stadium. He goes, hey, you're a fucking Bears fan. I was like, what the fuck do you know what I am? He goes, yeah. oh, whoa, whoa, what is that about, dude? I was like, do you not want me to root for KC? Yeah. He was wearing KC gear. Right. He was like, no, I'm just saying. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I know. What are ridiculous. you talking about? I don't, you know. Yeah. Look, well, there, there's only, I'm writing this book of the rules of sports, uh, and I'll need some help 
But when I get I'm to available. tennis, because I know you're a big tennis guy. I am a f- tennis. Big tennis freak. Yeah. No, but I have rules. Tennis have, queen is what they're called. Te- uh, oh. Tennis a, queen. Oh, a tween? Yeah, a tennis I, queen. I want to write the unwritten rules of sports. Okay. And baseball, I've knocked out a ton of them. Like, okay. um, you can't bring a mitt if there's hair on your dick. That's a very obvious <laughs> one. You that- can bring a mitt if your son is with you <laughs> and your son has no hair on his dick. Okay. Once your son has hair on his dick, you no more can bring him it. Neither can he. Right. But if you bring your young son, of course, dad can bring him it with right. with this kid. Right. 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 Can I wear I a jersey that. of a team that is not present? Can you wear a team of a jersey not present at the game? No. No. That's is, a no. Is your team playing? No. Yeah. And you wear street clothes. Right. End of discussion. I love it. I love it. Can you wear any baseball hat to a stadium of a team that isn't playing? Of course, baseball hats are exempt. Baseball hats can Whoa, move freely. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So you're saying if I'm at a Yankee game? Mm-hmm. I could walk in. Yankees are playing, hypothetically, the Mets. Sure. I can walk in with a Texas. Six to four, by the way. It was a good game. Yeah. I could walk in with a Texas Rangers hat. You sure could, especially if you're an out-of-town guy. But jersey is different. The reason I give exemptions to baseball hats is baseball hats are like shoes. It's an accessory. It's not It's not symbolic. But in the context of a baseball stadium, you're making a statement. Kind of. It, it just know. doesn't bother me the way jerseys do. Because you got to wear a baseball hat to a baseball game, and you will not have either of those hats. You don't have to. You have to. You do? Yes. You're not going to wear a hat to a baseball game? It's a fucking baseball hat. You go, you go without a hat to a baseball game? Who's your father? I'm ashamed to say that Who's I have your father? done it. Wait, he's Chris Pappas. <laughs> you tell CP that you got, he's you, got a few, get... you got a few words for no, him. No, I just I exempted hats years ago. I said it was okay. I used to get mad about it, and I was like, you know what? It's a baseball hat. He's, right. he, this kid is from Texas. He's, he just wants to see a good baseball game. But the jersey. I say leave the hat at home. I, I get it. Out of respect. I think the jersey is the thing that you, is crossing the line. Okay, I'm gonna go jersey and hat. I disagree. I'm gonna go jersey and hat. Keep okay. it relevant to the game. Okay. If it's not, you should be kicked out of of the stadium. You or you should be kicked out, removed, removed. All right. How about wearing? How about wearing uh, a dress? Uh, how if about you're wearing? A man, how, fine. <laughs> <laughs> how about wearing a jersey of a uh, another team from the same city? In the in the idea that I'm wearing a Rangers jersey to uh, a Yankees or Mets game, right? So you're wearing, but that's Texas. No, no, another oh. sport. I mean, get them the fuck out of the stadium. Correct, correct. Yeah, correct. Get correct. them out correct. of the stadium. Yes, yes. I, I I said team. I meant sports. Yes. You're wearing another sport jersey, even if it's the same city, right? Like you go to a Cubs game, you wear a Blackhawks jersey. Why though? Yeah. Don't need it. No. Leave that fucking shit at home. Leave that at home or get out of the stadium. Or get the fuck out of the city. We're yeah. on the same page Or they there. don't let them in. They just go, or you Sorry, take buddy. it off. Or we have a section for morons. Yeah. And you get to wear all that bullshit way at the top. Or, or no, or there's just like a TSA for that. And you just, you know how <laughs> take you- Take it off. Yeah, you lose your bottle you of water. Away. You got to throw it away. You got to throw away the That's jersey. That's it. I agree with you. Okay, good. Those are good. What about, uh, what about, should you- No should gays we? at the game? I agree. Well, there should be a section. <laughs> There should be a section for gay people. There should be a section, yeah. <laughs> We're joking. It's joking. We're kidding. It's a comedy podcast. My God, they yeah. wouldn't go to a game anyway. Yeah. <laughs> no, Jesus. Well, uh, how about smoking? Should smoking be allowed at baseball games? No. Why would we allow smoking in such a healthy environment where you can eat a hot dog and That's what I'm saying. There should be a section beer. for smoking. Yes. Why wouldn't there be a smoking section? I don't get I it. I can't wrap my head around it. In fact, you can't even bring a vape in because Connie, who was with me, the guy who, who goes on the road with me, they made us, we went to the um, Notre Dame game, uh, the, the bowl game when we were in Arizona, and they made him throw away a vape. And I was like, why? What would, why? Right. Why couldn't, it's not, it's not even smoke. And he had no plan on smoking it anyway. He was like, I just, it's in my pocket. I, we don't have a car. We Ubered. Right. The guy's like, put it in the car, throw it away. Right. I was like, wow. Well, that- Can't go back to the car at this point. Yeah. It doesn't exist. So he threw away like a $40 vape? Yeah, he just bought it like an hour Jesus. before. But I was like, that's that's such an annoying, that so smoking should definitely be allowed in a section. I understand that there's kids around, you know right. what they, And then vaping is, yes, always at a, at a sporting event. Fine. Yeah. It's outside. Yeah. But the problem is with smoking it's a little bit of a hazard with the way the seating. Could you light someone's hair on fire? So what? Okay, yeah. You know why you wear your hair wouldn't get lit cost- on fire if you were wearing a baseball, baseball hat. hat? You're right. And okay. also, cost of doing business. What about the wave? Are we into the wave or are we out of the wave? Mandatory wave. Must have a wave. Must have a wave. Interesting. Do not participate. You are removed from the stadium. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like the wave. I disagree with it. I think it is a discretion from the game itself. However, if there is a wave... You have to participate. You have That's to how I feel. Yeah. I don't like it, but when it comes around, yeah. get the fuck up. Right. Stop being an asshole. Right. Be in the thing. It's annoying, but we got to do it. Right. It's like anything else. It's like waiting in line. It's like going to see your in-laws. 
uh, putting on a condom. Nobody wants to do any of this stuff. But you do it. You have to. Right. It's a part of the thing. I agree. All right, agree. so you're but into the why wave. Why are you against the wave? You feel like it's a distraction? What are we doing? Nobody does the wave during the moments that, that it would be important? a distraction. So what does right. that say to you? They don't need it any time. No, it means it, uh, it's a dull moment, maybe a timeout or whatever, and we do wave. All right, what about lighting you, beach balls? It just balls? sounds like you're no fun. Beach balls? Beach balls? Uh, Are you into the beach balls when somebody brings a beach ball and they blow them up and they hit them around? I'm, I got to say, I'm not into it. Interesting. I'm you're not, into the wave, but you're not into I'm beach balls? into the wave, not into beach balls. Here's what I say. Beach balls are allowed for only three months out of the baseball season year. Okay? Okay. Explain why. Well, beach balls have no business, uh -huh. no business in April. Right. What do we do? that's not beach going weather. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. You can only bring baseballs, uh, uh, beach, beach balls. balls in the perfect height of the summer. Okay, but this Once is, we get into the postseason of baseball, no beach balls. But you got strange rules here because we're all about... You, we're, uh, some of these things we're keeping in context. Baseball hats. But beach balls belong at the beach. <laughs> I, I That's understand. Right. I don't but think there's sand out on the field. Should there? baseballs be allowed at the beach? Should be... Absolutely. There, you re really? Yeah. Why not baseballs at the beach? You never threw. You never got a mitt out there with a buddy. I, and I don't know around? because I want the world to make sense and I want things to have order and for them to mean <laughs> what they mean. Baseballs belong in a baseball game and beach balls belong in a beach. But you're is it too hard to ask for things to just be what they are, or is everything just want to be trans? <laughs> <laughs> trans uh, balls. That's trans, trans balls. balls. Yeah. I mean, beach balls don't belong at baseball games. Okay, I'm saying. I, I don't disagree, right. but I also think there's a time and a place. There, I mean, but you haven't given me a good reason why it should be involved. It's the same reason why the wave is involved. It's a little bit of boredom, and it's also it's also fun to see somebody get hit with a beach ball. There's okay. a guy drinking a beer, he gets hit in the head, and he does this thing, and goes what? like this. Guess what? I it's changed my opinion. That's a moment. <laughs> <laughs> it was that easy. I also give a sneaky tip. I'm going to give a tip in the book, but if, you're, if you are uh, subject to seeing long lines at a stadium in your local area, easy tip. Go to the front of the line. See a guy that's alone. Got to be a guy that's single. Can't be with buddies or with a, with a female. Single guy and go, my friend, I'll buy you, you your beer if you buy two beers. If you let me be in line with you. Cut the whole line. Buy that guy a beer. You get your beer. Save yourself 25 minutes. Can go I ask back you a question? Seat. Are you just a genius or did you think this out before? Because that's a good one. I've literally done this for about, I mean, the 20 years I've been going to live sporting events. Have you told people this yet? Or is this the first time you're letting your fans know about it? I don't this? know, but I, I, maybe I should can I my mean, mouth. Well, I don't know. Why not share that though? Yeah, no, you're but I do. Gonna... I do that everywhere. That's I go. incredible. If you have the financial stability and you're comfortable enough to buying another stranger a beer, which a lot of people, yeah. I'm not buying that guy a fucking beer. Yeah. Fine. I'm always willing to take the hit of buying another guy a beer so I can get a beer faster than waiting in line. I would do that. I mean, you're paying ten bucks already. What's what's twenty? But there's the, here's the rules. Yeah. He's got to be alone, and you've got to be alone, and you've got to be kind of unassuming and sweet, and go up to the front and go, "Hey, my man," and get shoulder to shoulder so people don't behind you know these guys don't know each other. Right. It's got to be like a. You're having a conversation. You're just asking him a weird question. Right. And then thank you very much. You hit him with the card. Hit him with the cash. Wait to decide. Get yourself your Miller Lite. I also see why you may not want too many people to know this because if this gets out, Everyone's which gonna it's going to now. It's going to get out. Which it's going to get out because it's, it's one of the out. best ideas I've ever heard. When you said it, I went, Jesus Christ, I wish I, wish I thought about that earlier in my life. I know. Everyone's going to be doing it, so then the line's going to be back to what it I was. I got sneaky tips, yeah. dude. Pee in the sink. <laughs> I I pee in the sink. I'm, I pee I'm in game. the sink every time. Yeah, I pee in the sink. I yeah. pee in the sink. Yeah, no one's washing their hands. Yeah, no. every guy knows at a baseball stadium, no one's washing their hands. Right, they piss, they leave. Yeah, some people see sixteen urinals. You see thirty. 20. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, see, see thirty six or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I pee in the sink, and I do it on airplanes sometimes. I'm sorry to tell you the truth. Okay, because <laughs> it's at perfect height. It is for it's tall, at, drink water like yeah, you. It's, it's yeah. a perfect piss height for me. Um, and the, and the toilet's too low. That's my, it's that's my, it's scary low. Yeah. And I get to see my cock in that mirror and it's kind of <laughs> nice to piss and see your cock in the bathroom mirror. <laughs> okay. Question for you, Cheeto. Yeah, babe. Now that we're on the topic, mm -hmm. do we make up the difference for the wage gap by charging male tickets just a little bit more than female tickets for a couple years and then call it a wash? I think. And then, you, and then we say, women, if you say another zip, you're back into slavery. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> we solved this issue. Yeah. I think I think kids uh I think kids' tickets should be free. I do. I think make tickets more expensive for adults, but the kids kids should go free if you're under what is it? What would it be a kid? Yet? Under ten. Under ten. Under ten tickets yeah. are free. Okay. Why you shouldn't have to buy that kid a ticket. That's stupid. That's uh, let the adults overpay to buy the kid. Right. As far as women tickets versus men ticket prices, I don't think women should be able to go to baseball games at all. I don't even know why you're letting them in the stadium. Okay. 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 Overcharge? No, don't charge them anything. They can't come. You wait in the car. 
Okay. Or you should be at home doing something, do, getting prepped for the boys when we come back. Right, right. How funny. I, I wasn't thinking about that. Re- <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it reasonably. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I got emotional about that. Yeah. I, I, I made that, uh, I, I, I made that suggestion. That is it, a good way to settle the wage gap. It would be a good way to settle the wage make gap. Make the men pay, make, make the men pay more. For a couple of years. A couple of years. And then not a peep out of you fucking bitches anymore. <laughs> 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 you should write a book, Cheetos fucking unwritten rules. The unwritten rules of sports. I am. Yeah. I, I have been working on it for yeah. quite a while. This, there's a few sports I know nothing about. Yeah. Uh, and I have to elicit the help of friends. Truly, I do. I need. You want to talk to the tennis queen now or in a I few minutes? I want to sit down in, uh, with a glass, of, another glass of this stuff and go nuts with you. But I really I, do want to know. How am I going to drive home now? Who gives a shit? Yeah, that's true. You're, you're, you, and you rented a Cops Ford Mustang. Cops in LA aren't on the job right now anyway. They're, they're, they're at the diner next door. Yeah, I love they just made a video and they said, hey, just don't come here. We can't protect you. Yeah, they don't care anymore. They don't care, no. But I'm still paying for them. Yeah, you're still paying for them, yeah. It's nice to know that something I'm paying for doesn't work anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, also, get home safe. Uh, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive people don't at home. And drive. He's not going to drive home. I'm not driving home. Uh, but you do have a Ford Mustang that you rented. You didn't want to get the Nissan fight. Versa. Well, what it was, well, the guy just tricked me. Okay, he tricked me because I was on. in San Diego and he goes, I drove from San Diego and I'm like, look, he goes, I was getting like a, it was on the website, it was like 30 bucks a day. So I don't know how this happened, mm-hmm. but it went from the Mustang? Uh, 30, no, 30 bucks. I got like a smaller car. Like I didn't oh. care. You know, when you go like, you just look, I don't care. I'll Cheapest just get whatever. piece of shit. And then he goes, he goes, 20, you want to do 20 bucks more a day uh, for the topless mu- uh, Mustang? And I go, yeah, 20 bucks a day. So in my mind, I'm going 55 uh, bucks. Four days. Somehow that ended up being seven hundred bucks. And then he goes, Ah, you're put you're putting on because I had my uh, you know, we all have our little S corps or whatever. Yeah. I was putting it on my thing. He goes, Ah, you don't care, you're putting it on the business. And I was like, I'm the business. I was like, No, I'm the business. Yeah. And by that time I had already rung it up. But at that time, I hadn't rung it up, but I read and that time I already had it in my mind, top down, oh Pacific Ocean on the left, you know, hooting did, the blowfish. Did that work? Oh, hooting the blowfish, top down. I only yeah. wanna be with you. I was yeah. Only just one. Of, I was just yeah. Owned was by the jamming. military base and the two uh, big tits. It was just if you drive from San Diego to Los Angeles, you got to do the top down rental. You got to spring the extra. I guess four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> were you with your buddy or were you solo? I was solo, dude. Solo I did living. It solo. Yeah. You, do you put the suitcase in the in the uh, in the trunk or is it in the seats? No, it was in the trunk. See, yeah. I, I put it right on the seat. Let people know I'm an out of town. Yeah, I had a hat. I put it in the back seat. That hat is now part of California. <laughs> it just flew out. Yeah. <laughs> Driving the coast solo, by the way. Yeah. Such a cool move. Doing anything solo is nice. It is nice. Yeah. It is nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I take drives at night. That's my um, stress relief, and I love it. What, you just get in the car at night and just yep. go around? Yep. Just scouting, seeing, I just, stalking? I, 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 just like, I just like to cruise. What Daddy killers do? Cruise. Oh, you just like to cruise. So you just go for a drive? I go way out. Yeah. You have a little hot <laughs> argument with, you, you no, get a no. little hot with the wife? No, usually, go, usually that's not it. Usually it's Is that a real thing? Was that made up in the movies? Does that, anyone go for a drive to cool down? I don't do a cool down. I go yeah. when I just need to just kind of escape. I put on some tunes, and I just want to just take a little cruise. I don't know. I, when I was in high school, yeah, I, was I the bet exact you same wouldn't way. do that in a Hyundai. Well, yeah, well, yeah, you'd probably go. You know what I'm? What do you mean? I'm, I have an, I have a Nissan Cube. I have a Cube. I have a Nissan Cube, and I've told the fans. But when my you cars. go, but when you go for the nighttime drive, do you take the Nissan Cube or do you take Old Sweet Mama? I just passed. I take the cube. <laughs> yeah. I take the cube. Windows down, baby. One of them gets stuck. <laughs> Did you ever have roll down windows for any any of your cars? Um, yeah, I had my first car was a Saab. It was one of those old Whoa. airplane Saabs. Yeah. That like nobody has the parts to. Yeah. My brother gave it to me. He had it for a couple of years. It broke down like every month but you're every- Greek. You must have had a Greek guy that fixed cars. Everyone has a Greek guy that fixes cars. No, that's that's Chicago. Oh, you don't got none of that no, stuff? No, no, no. We, we got, got all the good cars. Greeks. No. New York has no good Greeks, huh? They're all bad. They're yeah. all bad Greeks, just uh-huh. like the church. <laughs> bad. The worst part about Greek culture is the people. The people, of yeah, course. The people. Yeah, the people. You nailed church. that. Yeah. The church or second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You had a sob, and then what'd you have? Sob. And then I had no car for a long time because I'm from New York. We don't have cars. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. And then um, after that, I, when I moved to Miami in 2013 for this show that I took, Cocaine? Uh, I, yeah, definitely cocaine. <laughs> yeah. De- that's part of it. Um, but uh, the first car was a BMW. Ooh, what? Uh, three Series. Three. 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 35? Uh, 325? 335. 335 I? I. I, 335 I. And it was uh, used. I bought it, then returned it. I was only down there a year. 
Came back up here, got the Lexus G. Uh, Ooh, Lexus. Yeah, the Lex. The I, whatever okay. year that was. My buddy worked at a dealership, and he got me a good deal. I was paying three hundred a month. Uh, you know, it was the Lexus. I would say Lexus number one. That was your favorite car. Well, now I have a, a Tesla. Tesla number one. When three you go, or S? No, I got the whichever is the cheapest one. Whichever one that Tim Dillon said it, school teachers have to have cars too. Three. The three. It's yeah. like yeah, they're not that expensive anymore. That's a good thing. It's a great thing. And Tim Dillon, who's he to talk? He bought like a four four hundred thousand dollar fucking Range Rover. He got for a no rapper's reason. car. I thought Cameron was picking me up from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, fam? Get yeah. in. Yeah, TVs and the headrest. Yeah, yeah, TVs. Everything. No one's ever back there. Yeah, nobody's ever back there. It's just <laughs> Ben in the front seat, and that's it. He uh, puts Ben in the trunk. He puts Ben in. That's true. That's yeah, true. And he's going to hatchback. That's true. And he yeah. pokes his little head over like a dog. Yeah. No, he puts Ben in the front seat when he knows somebody else is going to be in the car. He doesn't for appearances, but when the, Ben goes right in the trunk. Right in the fucking trunk, Benjamin. But the Tesla, what, you never into, once you drive a Tesla, you can't go back. I like engines, so we're not even going to get into this. You're I just can't, an old car do, guy. I love cars. You're but, a straight man. You're, but, that's a straight man. Yeah, You're straight. Yeah. yeah. My schwanz goes like this. Yeah. Uh, no, but you know what? I, I do appreciate Teslas. I've driven them. I've driven the Plaid. and I drive so smooth. Like mm -hmm. Yeah, but there's, like no, a, I, but I, there's no <clears throat> there's no guts. I feel like um, it feels like a, a golf cart, a fast golf cart. It's like a fast golf cart. Which is cool, Yeah. but I like noise. Yeah. I just like the feeling of like, this is this is fucking metal moving. Right. It's just hot as fuck to me. Ever since I was a kid, because we never had nice cars. We all, my father, we never had nice cars. Sensible cars? Ridiculous, dude. My dad yeah. had, like, it was like a, he had like a park, a Buick Park Avenue, <laughs> a fucking uh, Oldsmobile, uh, like a Cutlass. You know, like, we always had, like, boring, regular, this is what you got car. Right. Like, the, the company said, you can have a $22,000 car. Right. And he's like, well, we're getting a LeSabre. Right. It was, you know what I mean? Like we never, he never had anything. My dad never sprung for something like, you know, if the budget, if the car budget for my, this is exactly who my dad is. If the car budget was, was $287 and 14 cents, that's exactly the car he would get. That's as far as he'd go. Yeah. yeah. I would be like, dad, you could pay a hundred dollars more of your own money and get another car that you want. Right. He's like, why am I paying a hundred dollars more a month? Right. Why the fuck would I do that? Right. Why, 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 why would I pay another $1,200 a year for a car that when I get one for free, I get it. It's a, it's a it's an old Midwest uh, guy guy mentality. That is very Midwest. He never wanted to. That's spoil why they're himself. the salt of the earth, good people. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Spo he never spoiled himself ever, yeah. ever, ever. But it bummed me out because I was always like, he did have us he, coastal elites talking about our cars that are unnecessary. It's bullshit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, they're all bullshit. You yeah. need oh, it's just wheels it's and just, a yeah bullshit really. engine. Yeah, I mean, for you, you don't even have that. You fucking battery dork. I know, I'm a battery guy. <laughs> I should say it sounds like a uh, like a Dyson vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine getting killed by one of those fucking things how embarrassing yeah. that's my problem if i hit somebody yeah i want to i want to if i drunk hit somebody and yeah. i kill him at least i kill him with an engine and you at least you if you, you have an engine smoked you, by you a give him a chance to hear you coming yeah yeah well with me with it's you, just like yeah, someone's it's, gonna run over like your a, toe you think yeah, no a silencer and a gun it's kind of cheating <laughs> yeah it's dangerous with deer because where i live now there's a country yeah, i live in the country now how far away from new york are you now about an hour ten What's it called? No, uh, I don't say the town. What am I talking Yo, about? What am I nuts? Yeah, I live up there. Show me on a map. Yeah, I'll show you on a map. But it's up there. And the, dude, deer, I mean, the deer are like a problem. It's bad. And with the Tesla, you can't hear anything. So it's like I actually roll down the windows. When, even if it's cold out, I roll you down the windows. The horn the whole way yeah, home. why am I doing this? I don't yeah. do that. I roll down the windows. You're like, and, look, I roll down the windows. I roll down the windows. <laughs> Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I rolled on the oh god, Freudian slip, and uh, I blast music just so I can make some noise because ah. the fucking deer. Have you hit I'm, one? Have you hit clip one? I haven't yet, but um, a friend of mine who lives in the area hit two already in like a couple years. And that Tesla would fold, fold. like a fucking piece of paper it, because why? It's made of shit. Well, there's no engine. Bud. There's no engine in it. That engine block would help you save a little bit of your life. Damn, that's a great point. Yeah, you hit a deer that. in that, you are that front fucking truck, annihilated. Yeah, that front trunk is not gonna... annihilated. <laughs> should I just should I just drive with something in the front trunk? Should I put a dead body in there to just buffer the deer? Yeah, yeah. Put your put the guy that opens for you up there. Yeah, I'm gonna throw him in there and Ben <laughs> and Ben. <laughs> uh, listen, baby, I want I want to tell you how much I thank I'm you listening. and I love you and it's so good to see you. And I'm in New York, by the way, in a couple of weeks. Will you come do long? Yeah, days? Of course I will. Of course I will. I and I'm gonna you. come, and I just want to come, come up to the bang. house. Yeah, I will because I have. I'm gonna be there for a week. 
You could come up to the house. I got an extra room. I'm serious. Yeah, there's horses up there. Well, because I'm doing I'm doing Albany. Yeah, uh, that's far. I'm doing Albany today, right now. Is right. this podcast airs? I'm doing Albany. Yeah, uh, I'm I, Foxwoods. If we're still here, are you anywhere near Albany? Ah, uh, no. That's far up. That's far. That's, that's far up. That's like two, yeah. three hours. You're flying north? in New York City to go to Albany. I got some business in New York. I oh, got to do some business. So I'm going to do some New York stuff first. And I said, what? well, because also I was like, well, why am I going to fly to fucking New York and not go to New York? I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Right. Albany. Well, it's a big state. Uh, but no, but Albany is not. Uh, three hours. Okay, fine. Yeah. You drove three hours to San Diego. I did. You see what I mean? I did. I fucking drove three hours today to go to Upland and then back oh my to God. Whitney's house. Why'd you go to Whitney's house? I'm staying there. At Whitney Cummings' house? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I have no good reason. You know what goes on there, right? Yeah, baby blood drinking. No, way worse than that. Dog fights? Dog fights. Yeah. Whitney Cummings has been doing dog fights now for about four and a half years, and nobody wants to talk about it. They don't want to talk about it, but-, but the good news is, if you're a guest, they let you kill the bad dogs. They do. Yeah, they let yeah. you slaughter one. Really? I mean- You're staying out at her house? Yeah. It's She's, a nice house. It's a nice house. It's a yeah. beautiful house. Yeah. You she, had call, a little, come. she had a little Christmas party. I went over there for the Christmas party. Come now. Let's trash it. <laughs> I would love She's to fucking town. trash Oh, she is? <laughs> yeah. Where is she? Who knows? I don't think she knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come to New York. I'm going to do the show. And listen. Um, and come visit. Come I will, I, No, I'm going to. I would love to. Yeah. Seriously. I would love to. I, I need some time away, too, because I've been um, busting balls. Yeah. But I... Um, I love you, man. It's always so good to see you. And go, I always go, have a great go see time Jan talking Pop. to you. You're so funny. You make me laugh. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Go see Jan Pop on the tour. Uh, go to uh, Giannis, pa Giannis, Giannis Papa's Comedy dot com. com. Giannis Papa's Comedy dot com. Um, he he uh, unequivocally. I'm going to give you a compliment. I don't really do this, but I'm, I'm in a mood right now. Okay. You're easily uh, one of the most talented friends I have in comedy. I mean that. And uh, you haven't Don't let up. You haven't let up since I met you. Don't let me cry. You've you've actually gotten better since I met you. I, this is. I feel like the, you know. This is your like strength is improving, and it's impressive to watch. And God bless you, and God bless your family, and I love you to death. Love you. So you know we end the episode the same way every time. Look in that camera right there on the left. Uh, your left camera there, and uh, mm -hmm. one word or one phrase to end the episode. It's got to be good, and it can't be. It can't be. I'm going to just preface this. It can't be. Let's go, Brandon, because I that's I knew you were going. That, that's already been done. <sighs> So no, let's go, Brandon. I can't. That's what I was gonna say. I know. All right, fine. Uh, no women in baseball games. <laughs> 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 Just wanted to reiterate that. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like that.